गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स so for 20 join let the people come and join we'll just start proceed a very happy morning to all present here and uh, today we'll have a programming session on java where uh, i just uh, do i just want to do some knowledge sharing with you a few parts of java hope you're all i mean if you have any queries in between you do the uh, content of yours in chat box so that it be easy for me to Proceed. Okay, fine. Java, you know well. If you have, I mean, I may audible to you all. If yes, kindly do it in the chat so that uh, I can proceed further. Yes. Yeah. Good. So, thank you. It's fine. So we'll start proceed now. So Java is an object-oriented programming language that we all know. We used to say it is a pure object-oriented programming language. It's a pure object-oriented programming language we used to see, and probably you could have heard about. You could have heard about uh, one more thing there. This one more object-oriented programming language called C plus plus. Just a minute, people are waiting in the waiting room. We'll just admit them. So it's a pure object-oriented program. Is it? Pure object-oriented programming language. Whereas, if you take C plus plus, it is not a pure object-oriented language. What is this uh, pure and what is this unpure? So, I'll just uh, show you a small example there. Uh, if you run a code in C plus plus without a class, but Uh, unfortunately in your curriculum you have not come with uh, c++ i'll give you a sample code of c++ now you have a look at i think you are seeing my notepad i'll just do this is a sample code of your c++ where this is like yeah you are seeing the screen of yours this is actually a c++ where i can type the code like this and i'm doing an execution obviously it will execute and you'll get a output as sample c++ but the point is that i have not used any classes here there's a class class name usually we use know that class class name like a sample like a kind of description i don't have even then c++ will be executed but it is not a case in java java needs compulsory classes where everything will be packed inside a classes so we used to say java as a pure object oriented programming language so pure object oriented programming language means all the content should be packed inside the classes that is what here this is a sample of your c++ where the c++ c++ you can use classes without using classes also it will execute the content so c++ is not a pure one whereas java is a pure object oriented programming language one more the java is platform independent people actually uh, i mean let me see the chat box parallelly like uh, in the chat box can you please uh, type it as uh, what is actually a platform what do you say it as a platform 
the platform means your object oriented i mean your op operating systems people used to see but that is not an operating system alone parallelly i'll do it in the chat too operating system plus your hardware we used to say it is a platform yeah we used to say it as a platform and java it is actually a platform independent means that you can run your java code in higher end to lower end system whatever the system whatever the system's capacity the java will be executed now there is a question how it is possible the possibility is like i'll just uh, again i'll come back to the screen of mine how does we people are saying that java is platform independent okay platform independent means it can be executed in all kind of systems how it is possible means it is done through the two ways called compilation and interpretation it is compiled compiled and interpreted java is compiled and interpreted what is this compiled and interpreted during compilation what the java does is that during compilation java does is like it converts the source code into source code into class okay the class code the reason for the class code the class code is actually machine independent code we used to say it is a machine independent code machine independent code whereas during interpretation what it does is that it converts the class code to machine code class code to machine code but the machine code is actually the machine code is a machine dependent code that's what the difference is so java we used to say it is a platform independent what is actually a platform the operating system and your hardware together only you have to say it is a platform how it achieves the platform independent how the java is executed in all kind of systems that is through the two concepts one is that first it performs a compilation during compilation it converts the source code means your java code into class code where the class code is common to all systems higher end to lower end and once the class code is submitted and you know well the class code will be or the it will be with the extension called dot class dot class and once the dot class file is created that will be given for interpretation during interpretation the class code will be converted into a machine code where every machine will convert the machine code in its own format that's why we used to say it as machine code is a machine dependent code machine dependent code and now let's have a look at uh, a small uh, intro about your uh, java architecture then we'll just directly get into a sample coding scene yeah you can see the screen of mine now it's a java architecture fine who is the one who predicted java means everyone knows that it is james gosling is the person who predicted but he is not alone predicted java the team of people whom i have listed up to the front they are the people who predicted java and you know the day when they predicted java they had a coffee and come out of the home they were about to see the oak trees so they just initially named the java as oak that's why it is named as oak initial later on it has been converted to java and uh, these things i just now discussed it is a platform independent the reason for platform independent i was very clear through the compilation and interpretation concept it achieves the platform neutrality and see the java code here initially this is what your uh, java source code it is given to whom i said compiler 
compiler converts the class code or a byte code this is a class code or a byte code which comes with an extension dot class where uh, your this is a byte code will be common to all the uh, platforms or all the machines then directly this byte code will be submitted to this place this is actually called your jre java runtime environment the java runtime environment so compilation produces byte code the byte code is submitted to java runtime environment here is the people you see here this is the important one class load the class loader is the one which accepts the dot class file and it uh, at the same time it receives the uh, remaining classes i mean the built in classes from the java class libraries and the byte code will be verified here and once the byte code is verified it will be given to jvm java virtual machine so keep in your mind java runtime environment contains two important things one is your class loader and the one is your java virtual machine and the java virtual machine comprises of your interpreter what i mentioned this is what the one which is responsible for converting the byte code into machine code and finally it will be given to your operating system and hardware and this is what i mentioned very clearly your platform so java source file is given to compiler compiler converts that into a byte code byte code will be verified through the byte code verifier and uh, finally it is submitted to the java virtual machine java virtual machine with the help of just in time compiler it converts that class code into a machine code and finally that will be given to your operating system let's have a look at how it's happening practically so see like uh, this is my notepad probably you are seeing i'll write a small code here otherwise i'll we'll make use of it. just a minute I'll make use of the previous codes I typed. Okay. And uh, okay, have a look at. It. There is a class I've given, and I'll just go with the public static void main. It's a first class fine here. You people, you can make use of a chat box if you have any queries in between. So I'll just see it accordingly. I'll do a changes. Here you see here the file name. I saved it as sample. My class name is Eva. Is this possible to proceed actually? Shall I proceed like that? Can you please uh, type it in a chat box? I'll just see it. Usually we used to say it as the class name. And your file name should be same. Okay, the class name and your file name should be same. But here I have not done it. I have created a class called A1, but I saved it in sample dot job. I'll save it again. Let me show you how to run the same now. How to run the same? Now. So far, what I've done, I created a class file, which is the class name is A1, but I saved it under sample where i have only one main method which displays a message called main method that's it i'll just run this same in my uh, command prompt to have a look at now this is my command screen okay fine my java is loaded here so i'll do one thing like uh, actually i have uh, kept my sample dot java in my e colon only i'll just show you now okay so there is a file called uh, sample dot java there is a file called sample dot java uh, just a minute So I'm, let me just run this code now. Java C. 
space. First, I'll compile it. You know the compilation. The compilation, what it does is that it converts your Java code to bytecode. And the bytecode will have an extension called dot class. Fine. So I'll just run it like sample. If I press uh, if I press tab, automatically it will be displayed. If I press enter, you know, there is no mistake in my code. It seems that it is not throwing any error for uh, keeping the class name as A1. But uh, let us have a look at after this. Let us see what all the dot class files created after this sample.java compilation. So if you go with tar dot class, you can see see there is a a1 dot classes created we saved the file name as sample.java in sample.java we have a class called a1 system actually will not create a dot class file based on your file name it is based on the class which contains a main method so a1 is a class in my code which contains a main method so a1 dot class is created now I have to go to the next one called interpretation. Compilation is over. So after the compilation, this uh, a1.class will be submitted to the class loader. Class loader verify the bytecode and submit the same to Java virtual machine as I've shown in my screen. I'll just show the screen again. So that will be giving player compact view. I'll just show you. Yeah. So I created a .java file and I saved it in sample.java and uh, it is being given to java compiler through the command java c then the dot class file is created just now i've shown you there is a1 dot class file that's a byte code and the byte code will be again given to by default the system will be submitting that to the class loader and the byte code will be refined and we have to call this java virtual machine now so i'll just uh, call the java virtual machine that is done through the command java so So now let's run our code now. So a1 dot class is here. So we have to run, even though your file name is sample.java, you cannot run it like uh, you cannot run it like Java space sample. It throws an error. There is no find or load. The main class is not there. Like that, it throws an error. So I'll do one thing like I'll run the same with a1 now. I'm getting my output. The point is, you don't need to keep your class name as well as your file name as same. But the reason for keeping that two as same is for our comfortable zone. Comfortable zone in the sense, uh, I mean, we cannot recollect every time what is your file name, what is your class name. If you know the class name which contains a main method, then only we can compile it through your, uh, uh, I mean, Java, Java C space and Java space file name. It's hard to keep in our mind every time. That's the reason what we used to do is that we used to keep the file name as well as the class name as same. This is the first one I thought of saying. Let's see. Like, I think students can make use of a chat box so that I can get some queries from you if you have any queries. So you're seeing my notepad now. I'll do one thing like, I'll just remove this public. What is this public? I'll remove it. Let's see what happens here. If I remove public, everyone, if I remove public, and I'm going to save this. After saving, I'm going to execute the same. So, so we'll just uh, go with here now. Students, you're in a chat box, right? Can you please type me, if I'm removing this public, will it causes any error, compilation error? There are two types of error, I'm very clear. One is your compilation error, second one is your runtime error. So if I'm compiling my code, will it throw any error? Will it throw any error? Yes or not? Not audible. 
my voice is not audible audible no fine okay fine okay fine so if i'm executing a code just by removing public will through an will it throw an error either compilation or runtime which one will be through so for no answer here right so i'll keep it as is no error fine but actually it won't throw a compilation error you just wait and see i'm executing my code again so i've shown the code anyway i'll show it again have a look at the code for the people those are joining new i'll just show the code again and we'll just try to execute the code we'll see what kind of error it throws actually so this is what the code i've done so initially i was clarif i just clarified the file name and class name can be different okay can be different just for our comfortable zone only we are making it as same okay now i just want to make it as for my comfortable zone i just make it as example it's good what is the thing what is the change i've done here is that i removed this public let's wait and see whether it throws any kind of errors or not so from your side i've got an answer that it is no let's see whether it throws a compilation error or runtime error i'll just go to the next screen of mine i'll just run the code of mine this is my code okay i'll run this i'll compile this first so during compilation obviously as you said there is no compilation here the compilation doesn't bother about your it just checks your syntax the syntax everything is pakka yeah public is actually an access specifier that says that uh, it can be accessed outside the class that's what the point now uh, what is a dot class file which will be created here actually i'll just show you now after the compilation i'll show you what are all the dot class file created you could have seen recently created file is your sample dot class the a1 dot class is previously created by us now the recent file what we have created is sample dot class because just now i changed the class name of minus sample now let's start compile this one so if i start compile java space sample and press enter it throws an error because it cannot find a main method because i'm not declared that under a public actually what is the meaning of java sample is this sample will be java sample will be considered the system as this sample will search for the main method the main method is not declared under a public so it cannot access the main method over here so it throws an error so that is the main reason we are giving compulsorily we are using the syntax public i'll come back to the static now so i think you hope, i hope that you clear about the public the public says if you mean it as public you can access the main method outside otherwise it throws an error now let's do the change there and we'll try to run the same again now yeah i'll just keep it as public now and obviously if i save it I save it, and uh, I'll just uh, execute the same now. Before execution, whenever you do a changes in Java, you are supposed to compile. Otherwise, the system cannot uh, proceed further. So, during the compilation, no error. I'll try to run this uh, sample. Yeah, it's running. So the public is the main, which specifies clearly main method should be accessed outside. Means it has to be declared as public. So if you have not mentioned a public, there is no compilation error, but the runtime error will be thrown by the system automatically. I'll do the next changes here. So we'll just go to the screen. We'll go to this uh, code again, and where I'll remove this static. Again, there is a point static. So I remove the static. So obviously, if I save it, okay, if I save it, what will happen there? 
obviously if i'm trying to run this whether any errors you'll get it there are two errors i'm very clear compilation means it will be taken by your uh, i mean uh, i mean it will be converting your source code to byte code where it will be given to surrender to java virtual machine java virtual machine takes care of converting the byte code to machine code now for this case public void main that is what i've written will you get any errors now can you type it in the chat box yes or no yes means what error it it will throw compilation error or runtime error compilation error here after you have to be very clear compilation error will be thrown only when your syntax is wrong because uh, just now you have seen my screen there is no syntax error uh, i mean it is stuck up but public static void main used to use instead i used public void main that's it and i'm trying to execute the same now i'll just uh, execute the same now by the time you'll see that whether it throws in errors or not so i'll clear my screen and i'll just compile it now during the compilation as usual it does not throw any error because there is no syntax error so i'll just run it now while running it okay while running it it throws an error what error it throws you please have a look at it is not a static method what is a static method actually the method which will be invoked by the class name directly is actually called your static method uh, i was very clear when you are typing this uh, java space uh, sample it will be considered by the system as java sample dot main sample dot main means um like the class name dot main method will be invoked automatically but here is a case if i am doing it it throws an error so in order to avoid that only we are using the static method i'll show you the changes here you please have a look at okay i'm just making it as static different okay to give a clarity about the static method i'll do one small point here class class okay a1 in the class a1 i declare one uh, static method void sorry static void okay static void display where i plan to display it's a static method that's it so this is a method where static void display it's a static method it's a static method now i'll do one thing like this is actually called your static method method means your function so it just begins with a keyword call static now i'll keep one more this is my class in which i have created a static method i have a one more i just plan to go with one more method this is actually call your uh, void display one this is a normal method i have fine now so this is my entire uh, entire sample dot uh, java file content where i have two classes one is a class a1 the one is your class sample the class sample contains a public static void main and the class a1 has two methods one is static 